you know, at some point, if he can't get that attacking midfield position going, you wonder if he tweaks the lineup and tries to get a player like Brad Davis, who grew up playing attacking midfield, to play that role, or put another defensive-minded center midfielder in there so Brad Davis has a little more freedom. Taylor Carr, edge of the area, Bruin, Hano, remember uh, Camargo, here he is, the Brazilian, suffered that car accident in the off-season, suffered a nasty cut to his leg, Davis winds up and shoots! You couldn't write a more appropriate script than that. A first of the season for Brad Davis. A trademark left footer from outside the penalty area. Hamid got a piece of it. He couldn't keep it out the top corner. They've got what they came for. What a moment for the Houston Dynamo of the veteran Brad Davis. One of only two survivors for when this franchise was in San Jose. A strike. Unbelievable. We just talked about the adjustment of Brad Davis moving in the middle, and it just paid off. From outside the penalty area, anything you can do, Brad Davis can do better. Well, and that little hesitation from King not to fire out there. Right there, Brad gets turned. He wants to go wide. King doesn't come out on him, and Brad Davis gets all of this one, and that's why we talk about Brad Davis having the best left foot in Major League Soccer. The fitting a moment, as you will ever see in sports. The build-up was all about Brian Ching and Brad Davis. The closest man to him when he got the ball was Dwayne De Rosario, would you believe? There he is. He said he had butterflies on the way to training yesterday. Described having a pillar, one of the 16 around this stadium, dedicated to him as humbling. Another substitution being made here by the Houston Dynamo. Colin Clark is in. Palin Carr has left. There's the pillar. They'll have a statue before long if he carries on scoring goals like that. Wait for the roar at the full-time whistle. Hall sends it very long towards Bruin. Beaten to it by Call. It's all over. The Houston Dynamo begin a new era in their new digs with victory over DC United by a goal to nil. No happy return for Dwayne De Rosario. Brad Davis is the hero of the day. A wonderful moment for Davis. There he is. He followed this club from San Jose in... 2006 with Brian Ching. The goal was spectacular and the fans are happy. Plenty for us to mull over in extra time. Full time here. Houston 1, DC United 0. Welcome back to Houston, Texas and welcome to victory for BBBA Compass Stadium. Houston Dynamo on that Brad Davis strike. Wins it 1-0 over DC United, and Davis is standing by live with our Kyle Martino. Thanks, Russ. Brad, one of the originals. You waited a long time for this stadium. How does it feel to open it up like this? I don't think you could have wrote it any better. Besides uh, what we were talking about, Chingy was on the doorstep a couple of times. That would have been the icing on the cake. But, you know, couldn't be happier for our fans, for our organization, for our club. We've been fighting hard, waiting for this day for a long time, and finally came, and uh, we got the win. Now, you just told me you made the decision to move into the center of the field, try to find the game. You get on that ball. What are you thinking before you let that one rip? Uh, to be honest, I turned because uh, I thought I was going to be playing a ball out wide, but I didn't get closed down. So uh, I'd honestly been striking a ball well throughout the week in training, and I had some chances last week uh, or a couple days ago against New York. They weren't going in. I was like, forget about it, let it go. And as soon as I did, uh, felt good and saw it go in. It was great. 
and the supporters. We've heard how excited you guys are about the stadium. What do you think this means to the supporters, not only to have their section, but to have you guys open it up like this? Uh, it, it means a lot to them. Uh, we've had some great fans. We've been through a lot of ups and downs together. And to, uh, to have a stadium like this now, for them to call home, for us to call home, I think it's going to be uh, huge things coming in Houston. What do you think the stadium does now? Second half of the season. Can you go on a little run here? Absolutely. Why not? Why not? Thanks, Brad. Thank you. Russ?